Taking negations in math can feel pretty trivial when you first learn them because you're just taking basically a negative sign logically. You're flipping all of the truth values and it's great. But as you learn more and more math and you're trying to understand these words that condense down all of this really structured, intense math with all these properties that have to be true simultaneously and all this stuff, understanding negations can be helpful when you know that something does not have a particular property or you want to show that something doesn't have a particular property. So in this video, I've gone ahead and gone through that for some more involved statements. So this first example is a little bit more step by step. You move the negation through quantifiers, flips the quantifier, you move it into the overall statement, and then you do some logical equivalence stuff there. But then for these last two examples, I've just given the solution from, since they're exercises from a video I did. But they're important. This first example, though, is actually the negation of what it means to be continuous. 